Vultures tend to be portrayed as evil, menacing, and solitary creatures, and that might have something to do with their striking appearance. Although this bird probably won't win a beauty pageant anytime soon, they're not as vile as you'd think. Recently, we visited the staff at the Carolina Raptor Center where they explained to us just how valuable these birds really are to other animals and each other. The turkey vulture, the black vulture, the lesser yellow-headed vulture, and the king vulture are all part of a group known as New World Vultures because they reside in North and South America. These birds share a very important job. They are part of the cleanup crew. They eat carrion, or dead things that others leave behind, like this black vulture is demonstrating. They are equipped to digest bacteria and disease that can easily kill other animals. Now that sounds far more helpful than evil to me. But what I find the most fascinating is how they help each other. Now you may think it's easy to catch prey if it can't run away, but sometimes it can be challenging to spot an animal that isn't moving. Especially for New World vultures, they can live in areas where things like tall trees might block their view. But that didn't stop these clever birds from adapting different ways to overcome that challenge. A dead animal tends to be a smelly animal. Along with excellent eyesight, some species of New World vultures must also rely on their nose to point them in the right direction, which is not common for birds. A turkey vulture, for example, has one powerful sniffer. They can smell a meal up to a mile away. However, some vultures need a little help from their friends. The king vulture sure has the market cornered on style with that brilliant coloration. But when it comes to sense of smell, it's lacking. Don't fret though, being one of the larger birds in the area has its perks. The king vulture will watch for other smaller scavengers to find a feast and then push their way to the front of the line. Sure, the king vulture gets the first bite, but it is also tearing open the tough exterior that most smaller birds can't cut through. And in return, a smaller bird, like the lesser yellow-headed vulture, is able to clean up the remaining meat the king vulture can't reach. So really, if you wanted to describe vultures, clever, helpful, and supportive seem like the more appropriate words. The New World vultures are proof that you should never judge a book by its cover, and they certainly demonstrate that two heads and two beaks are better than one.